mother of murdered State Department staffer Sean Smith now saying that she's tired of being lied to by the administration. Sean Smith was one of the four killed during the terror attack in Libya. Pat Smith said the following and quoting, they haven't told me anything. They are still studying it and the things that they are telling me are outright lies. That's Susan Rice. She talked to me personally and she said this is the way it was. It was because of this film that came out. She said a lot more too. New York Republican Peter King, chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee. And Sarah, welcome back to America's News. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. What do you much. say to that, Mother? Uh, the administration should realize that this is what happens when you do lie to the American people. It has real consequences on real people. They should just tell her that what they told her before they realized was wrong, and they're going to tell her the absolute truth, and then, then they should tell it to the American people as so well. there's no doubt in your mind that they lied, and that, that's what you just said. Yeah, I said it. And I would, at the very least, they distorted the truth for their own political purposes, yeah. And as far as that mother is concerned, I understand why she would consider it a lie. It was her son that was killed, and she has been given evidence and information which they had to know was wrong. All right, this is a timeline here that you're about to watch here. Various members of the administration talking about terrorist attacks and talking about films and videos. It, it runs over a period of about 15 to 17 days in, in September. Just roll this and watch it. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies over an awful internet video. This is under investigation. Uh, the unrest uh, around the region has been in response to this video. We were not aware of any uh, actionable intelligence indicating that an attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi was planned or imminent. It was a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired in Cairo uh, as a consequence of the video. It is, uh, I think, self-evident that what happened in Benghazi was a terrorist attack. We don't know yet, uh, and so we're going to uh, continue to investigate this. What happened in Benghazi was a terrorist attack. As a crude and disgusting video sparked outrage throughout the Muslim world. It was a terrorist attack. And back and forth it goes. They're all over the map. The question is why? Bill, all I can think of is to try to put the best light on it is that they picked and chose the intelligence they wanted, the intelligence to fit it into their narrative, which one, there was no mistake made about the security at the uh, consulate. They didn't want it coming out that the security was inadequate. And secondly, the president's been saying all along that Al Qaeda was decimated, and now we can focus our attention away from the Mideast to the Pacific. And this would totally undermine his position if, in fact, this was an Al Qaeda attack, which it was. And uh, for Susan Rice, someone like Susan Rice, five days after the attack, to go on television, still telling the same line. Now, I can understand it from the first day or two. They didn't have all the facts, but at no time do they have enough intelligence to say it was not a terrorist mm -hmm. attack. And at the very least, they should have known early on that it very uh, likely was a terrorist attack. There could have been some other causes, but it was primarily terrorist. Okay, After now, a while, let's it became do, clear do, do our viewers a, a favor here, and me a favor as well. You watched the hearing yesterday. Right. I, I don't know where it moved the ball. I don't know what's coming next. Well, what's the critical question that has to be answered now? Uh, to me, the critical question is, uh, who came up with this line for the administration that Susan Rice and Jay Carney followed? When they were given in, uh, intelligence from the uh, Director of National Intelligence, plus from the State Department itself. I mean, Susan Rice says she's basing it on the intelligence she got. Well, if they got that from General Clapper, they should have put General Clapper, who's the Director of National Intelligence, on, te on, on television. Fact is, as she reports the State Department, the State Department employees themselves have said there was no demonstration. Well, if at the that's the case, that you need to talk to Susan Rice or Hillary Clinton or both. Absolutely. Certainly. Well, well, will Susan that happen? Rice, yes. uh, I don't know if it happened before the election. It is going to happen. And I know that Chairman Issa has said that he does want to have Susan Rice in under oath. And I'm sure he will try to expedite that. Whether it will happen or not, I don't know. It yeah. should happen. Do, do you think you have 26 days to go before uh, right. the, the official day on the 6th of November? Do you think it's important to do this before? America decides its next president? Yeah, I, I think it is, because we're not talking about a mistake here. We're talking about what appears to be a contrived cover-up by the administration, trying to hide the reality of what happened. And in doing that, we have American uh, lives were lost, and we saw with Sean Smith's mother. This has real human consequences. This isn't a political fight over how big the deficit is or anything like that. We're talking about American blood and guts right here. Yeah. Peter King, thank you for your time. Thank you, Bill. We'll await those answers whenever they come.